Hi. Hey, it's the program. Hey. Your daily hour with me. What happens here on the program? Playing the machines, and we start talking. And we talk for one hour. It's the title. And Brianna, Brianna. Hello. Can you hear me loud enough? Uh, keep talking. Hello, hello. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep, we're good. So, we're back in the cool. studio. Yesterday we went to Los Olympia and I went back. Oh. Ways are raging. <laughs> it's uh, Wednesday. When, when was the last time you were on the, on the program, Rihanna? Um, I'm done with Aviva. I don't remember when. Let's go. I think last, yeah. last month? Yeah, last month. Before October, it's, it's what day? The 19th. Oh, it's the, uh, yeah. it's the first month of the thing. We're going to call Freddy. I want to call Freddy because I want to get coffee. That's the one thing we're going to start off <laughs> the show doing. Uh, these are the second messages. We got a lot of messages today. Mr. to get to. And we have some messages from yesterday that we have to respond to still, too. We got these sandwiches, too. A anything uh, happened to you in the last uh, month? Me, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Any, anything exciting? Uh-huh. What's happening? Well, I think the most exciting thing I've done, I went to Portland. Like, you guys called me. I was coming on the train back from Portland. And um, I played a show there yeah. for this, uh, like, women's electronic music festival. That's good. It's called Electra Gals. It was, I didn't know what it would be like. I thought it, maybe it would be weird. But it was actually really, really awesome. And I made 200 bucks. Whoa. It was really cool, and all the people were really nice. And I really oh, I like them. Yeah, I know. I made $200. I've never made that much money from playing a show. No. It was wild. So cool. Are you solo? Huh? A solo show? Yeah. Oh, I was playing solo, I mean, by myself, but there were like a bunch of other women playing. I made a new friend, this girl named Maria, and she plays, her music kind of sounded like really, it was like dark, but like kind of like, like Prince, except like a little more electronic. Dark was, electronic Prince? Yeah, it was, it was sweet. You're pro now. Yeah. yeah. Pro gig. Should we listen to those messages? There's a lot. Who called? Yeah, this is two days worth of messages. We're going to be in our yesterday. Oh. Uh, okay. Mr. Ginter called like 30 times, though. Mostly just all Mr. Ginter. You think he's, he's mad? We'll find out. He's always mad. I wish he wasn't mad. He's a bad back. Uh, he, uh, he got a car wreck and it hurt his back and now he's always in pain. That's why he's Hi, you've reached Freddie Dubler. Uh -huh. I can't come to the phone right now because I left <laughs> my phone. Oh, uh, we're not going to call him. I think he told me that right here. I'm not going to give him coffee. Hello? 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 I think that's like probably the most interesting thing I've done. I've been recording some too for my album. Oh, I heard the new thing that you and Jala did. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. Can you play it for the on the show? Yeah, yeah. It's so good. Hi, you've reached Freddie Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now because. Well, looks like I'm not gonna get any coffee or drink. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, try calling Cedar. Okay. He's with Freddy. I was just calling in to see if you're doing the show all by yourself. Or if you had Monday day in there, and you're expecting... Ain't nobody fucking there. So, see? Oh. Hello? Hey, Cedar. Hello? It's the program. Hello? Cedar. Can, can you hear me? Oh, no, you can't hear us. Hello? Nope. That can't hear up. anything. You can't hear it. Oh, yeah. no. I gotta hook it up. Yesterday we were in the studio. This happens almost every time I go into the studio. I, uh, I unhook stuff and then I forget which stuff is, uh, 
important to plug back in. But our voices are being recorded onto the tape, though, right? Yeah, we're going to tape, but not into the, uh, into the computer. Oh, dang it. Now yeah. Cedar will never know. Yeah. I got it. Well, and it's kind of a time crunch, too. I got to find the sword. So we got to call Freddy before he makes it here, because then I'm not going to get the copy. So I'm looking for the sword now. Well, you know, I made a phone call. Oh, yeah, it's here. I'm sitting on it. All right, I found the sword. Now we're going to hook it up, move over the call, and uh, it's going to work out this time. Yeah. So I'm going back here to find something. So what's your, what's your album going to be? You're recording an album? Yeah. What's, uh, what are you going to do with that? Are you going to put it on the internet and stuff? Or? Yeah, and go on tour in the spring, I think. Wow. I'm excited. So you, uh, you play, what do you play, what do you play in your electronic thing? You have a, uh, you play keyboards or you just have like a backing track? Or? Keyboard, sometimes like backing track, um, like live like vocal looping stuff. All right, I think I did it. We'll do a little test. Do do do. Uh oh. Oh. Do do do. Uh oh. 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 Something sounds real super buzzy though. What is that buzz sound? Super buzzing. I don't know why. Maybe. Huh. Did I fix it? Do 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 do. Nope. It's still buzzy? No, that was time it was, it was not there at all. Uh-oh. So I'm going to fix it. I think it's just going to have to be buzzy. That's what, uh. It was kind of buzzy the other day when you called two, though. Why is it so buzzy? What's happening? Do-be-do-do-do. do 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 Well, that's it. That's, that's, that's what I'm going to get. We're going to be buzzy. We're going to call people all the time buzzy. It's how we probably always sound to other people out there. No oh, man. Hello? Oh. Hey, I can't hear you guys before. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know who knows He didn't have a cord plugged in. Oh. Uh. Do we sound really buzzy? Uh, you sound kind of like whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Uh, but you're very, I can hear what you're saying. Well, that's good. Do you guys have the coffee? You guys have Red Freddy's or? Drinking coffee? Do you guys have any coffee? Because honestly, you guys made a bunch of coffee from Freddy's house. Freddy made coffee. Uh, Freddy is making coffee. I don't know anything about coffee. I am <laughs> not a coffee drinker. Oh, are you with, are you are you there with Freddy? Yeah, but I don't know much about coffee. Can you ask him ask him if he if he's gonna come into the studio and he can bring me some coffee? <laughs> uh, Freddy. I don't know where he is actually right the second. I think he's coming to the studio. I was coming to the studio. Wait, what time did he start? Ten minutes ago. Oh, great. Yeah. I'll try to get Freddy to come over. Try to get some coffee. <laughs> I'll have some coffee. I don't want any. Only Kenny does. Just Brianna doesn't want any. Only Kenny. Okay. <laughs> Freddy said okay. All right. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see you guys in, like, in a few minutes, all right? All right. All right. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Yay. This is a message from yesterday. Okay, yeah. I like your show. Hey, I want to, you should call me and put me on the show. Bye. Who is uh, that? That was a stranger. I think he's a watcher. <laughs> we don't know who he is. We have, it, we have his number, but we don't have uh, his name. Uh, I think he's a watcher. This is Mumbly. I don't know if that's an uh, act. I don't know if he's mumbling on purpose. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three, six, zero, three, three. Uh-oh. Five. Available. 
At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey. Hello. It's the program. We're calling you back. Your daily hour with me. Yeah. So call us back again. Phone tag. Okay, bye bye. That was some random guy, and then here's some of the beginning of the Mr. McKinson messages. We got a million of them. Haha. <laughs> you see, you're not even there yet, huh? Okay. Get all you in your hands. Yeah, we'll have to call him to get you back. So. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> you understand that you just said, okay, bye bye. That's it. Like, to me, whenever you're really not even fucking there. Aww. And Dan's not there either. He's the one who's supposed to say bye and stupidly. <laughs> what the fuck? Aww. I don't fucking get it. Who's supposed to be fucked? Who's fucking down there anyway? Who, what are you fucking doing? Huh? He's off from yesterday, yeah. Okay. He's probably sad so that you weren't here. He probably you wanted to talk it. to you. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, he he wanted to talk to us, but we were in the uh, we were at uh, at the park. We Occupied. Yeah. Occupied. Oh, we got a new Fucking, camera. What do you think you're doing, Who's Sammy? Doing? Oh. Hmm? I asked you That's a question and I get no answer. This is this the new camera? I feel like I'm talking to myself. Does this phone even fucking work? Yeah, it works. <laughs> Does this fucker work? <laughs> I can't tell. It worked. Yeah, <laughs> I can't tell. I don't know. He's, he's talking about yeah, see, this camera is a new, uh, it's a new Hi8 camera. It's from the 90s. These other cameras are from the 80s, I think. So we moved up 10 years. Wow. The quality, I think. See, this is the old camera. This is the new camera. New camera looks pretty good. New camera looks better, yeah. The lights are better. So that's what, you guys thought that we looked like we were in the dark or in the 80s or something because the camera's <laughs> messed up. Babies now, were in the dark. Yeah, now we're back in the 90s with a little bit better cameras. And sometimes yesterday we had an HD camera in modern times, but uh, uh, that was only for a bit. Now we're back in the 90s. Google Voice translates it so weird. Yeah, what the fuck ever. Fuck. If you're not there, you probably don't want me to leave a message. No, we're Probably not. Probably. Yeah, nope. I think I'll go now. A million messages. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, yes, I'll call you back. We have fun. We have fun. We have fun yet? Does he think you guys are like ignoring? What are you doing? Oh, we gotta call him back. Well, I guess should we keep listening to all the messages though. Yeah, we'll put all the messages. We'll call him back. Okay. We only have we have four more messages for him. Why don't you get back, motherfuckers? He <laughs> goes all day. From noon to 7 p.m. Noon to 7? He was really trying to get what a hold of you. Maybe there's something fuck? important. <laughs> Yo, punk. Do you think Mr. Ginsu would ever come on the show? He wants to be anonymous. He what? That's so. He wants to be anonymous. Oh, oh boy. I can't remember what the fuck. Son of a bitch. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. Isn't there any no way you can make that faster? What faster? I called him Mr. Gintu, uh, from the first time he called. Yeah, oh. piss off, motherfucker. You wouldn't tell me his name. You play that on your TV show. You called him Mr. Gintu. You made that up. Because he fixed his car. Oh, I 
Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three six zero five six one one. The phone's off or he's on the three, phone. Three five. <laughs> I hope he's okay. Mr. Ginter, are you okay? Hey, what's up? Uh, it's the program. We want to talk to you. Yeah. They were they weren't here yesterday. They were at Occupy Olympia. That's why we didn't call you back. We're not ignoring you, but now we're calling you back, but you're not answering your phone. Are you okay? You're going to call us back. Okay, bye-bye. We have, we have about 45 minutes if you want to you get this by then. Okay, bye. Uh-oh. Is Mr. Ginsu okay? He's going to answer his phone. Uh-oh. Mystery. Does he always answer? No. Oh. But often. Here's the, here's the bird with, um... Who's the bird? His name is Bird. He's got... He's, he's uh, like an Occupy Olympia guy, so... Oh. Hey, program, this is Bert. It's about 9, I guess, probably pretty close to 9. 8.30 on Tuesday night, and I'm calling to see if you came to the camp today and did the program. Hope it went well. And uh, give me a call. I don't know. Um, hopefully we can... So, I don't know, hopefully you did the program here and it was good. If not, maybe I sh maybe we can try another dot in time or something. Okay, thanks. Bye. Nobody there told them. What time did, did you go, like, in the middle of the day, or did you go? What I knew. Oh. I feel like stuff happens more later. Would you ever go later? Program. Hey, bird, how you doing? Uh, hello. Hey, uh, I'm great. I'm feeling great. Just real good. How are you? Good. Yeah, great. Hey, how's the program? Good. Do we're doing fine, bro? Sweet. <laughs> hey, uh, hey I heard you, I heard the program was here yesterday. I'm good. at the park. We made out you there. Yeah. Now? Yeah, I am. How's it going today? Yeah, how's the rain? Um, right Is it raining? It's it's pretty solid. People brought a big green tent, and all the food serving stuff is under there. Um, there's a little bit of sprinkle in the air, a little bit of mist, okay. and uh, and we put some signs up in front of the uh, uh, tent that has the the anti-police messages on it indicating that these messages do not reflect the consensus of the group. What? So I feel good about that. What kind of food are they serving? Uh, a woman named Anju brought some really good rice and, like, chili that yeah. I had for lunch. Wow. It was really good. That's yeah, awesome. we love it when people bring hot, ready-to-eat food. It's really good. Yeah. So there's a little bit of wind now, and the, the tents are beginning to blow a little bit in the wind. And so I think our next main concern is uh, shelter and securing our shelter. And uh, I just taped a tent pole to a uh, picnic bench. And so I think that's going to be pretty solid for a while, unless it really starts blowing hard. So... Would you guys ever think about anyway. building some kind of wooden platforms to put tents on top of so in case, you know, it starts getting really rainy? That's a really good idea. Uh, we do have some pallets. Oh, yeah. And, that's probably good. Uh, yeah, I have my tent on two pallets right now. Mm. And, and so it's up off the ground. And I think I'm, well, I feel pretty good about it. It might get a little bit damp, but. You know, I think in general, mostly it'll be pretty dry, so. Yeah, keep it from being like um, a mud pit. Yep. Are you, are you sleeping there now? So, what's that? You sleeping there? I slept there two nights now. Yeah, I slept here, so. Yeah, it's it's happening. So, uh, um, you guys, what time, what time do you guys go to bed? You guys are like hanging out and then you... And then you just go back, everybody goes to the tent to go to sleep there? Oh, I think it's time for commercial break. All right. Can you see all over many hours? Yeah, how late do people stay up at the... That's kind of an issue. Uh, there seem to be people who are 
more interested in kind of like staying up all night and that's been a problem for me last night someone brought a big box full of earplugs and after I got in bed I, I realized that I had forgotten to pick them up so I called my friend Bruce who was still up and he he went and got some and brought them to my tent which is really nice and those made a huge difference so and uh, yeah so that that was really that was much better last night with the earplugs in yeah. and I slept pretty well so well, y yesterday they were contemplating whether or not they were allowed drugs and alcohol at the site. Did they, uh, did they decide that? Well, yeah, the, the, the rule is that drugs, including alcohol, are not allowed on site at all. It, the, okay. It's just not, ex not acceptable. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I think how to, how to enforce that is a big question, and encourage people not to do those things so I, and i don't have any answers to that so yeah, yesterday they were fighting about that a little bit I think. do you know if they, that's like a, a rule at other occupy cities yeah i've read that other occupy cities that's a pretty typical like non-violence policy is usually no drugs and alcohol yeah so yeah except for like caffeine and tobacco mostly those are allowed so. That's reasonable. Has there been any, yeah. any conflict yet at all? Yeah, there's there's been a lot of conflict over this tent. Um, some people who consider themselves to be anarchists have written uh, some messages on a tent, um, including fuck the police. They have ACAB, which is an acronym for all cops are bastards. And they have uh, off the pigs. They have kill the rich, and they have queer sluts make ass war. And so all of these messages are, are considered offensive by some people. And uh, today we, uh, we put, uh, we're putting signs up in front of their tent on the sides that have the messages. And one of the signs says, these messages do not reflect the consensus of Occupy Olympia. And another one says, Occupy Olympia rejects all forms of violence. And we're going to put another one up. And I'm not sure what it's going to say yet, but it's going to say something about, you know, that this doesn't reflect the will of the group or something. Well, what, so. about, what about the people that have the signs on? And they're mad about that? They want to keep the signs up without the extra sign? Um, say that again. Like, what about the anarchists who made the signs in the first place? Are they unhappy that their signs are being negated by extra signs? Um, they, you know, they haven't been here since we put up the new signs. So I don't know what they're going to think, and I don't know how they're going to react. It's, I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they say and do. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what they will, how they will respond. That's so. Sad. Yeah, it's more organized than I thought. I thought, you know, people are just going to be hanging out there, but you guys have all these meetings and rules and stuff. You guys are just like sitting there. Is there like a daily We're doing agenda? A lot of stuff. Yeah, there's two meetings every day. There's a lot of work to be done, you know, in terms of communications and food and all kinds of other stuff so you know and there's people who the the people who manage the parks for the state are visiting occasionally and they always want to talk to someone and right. so if it's not one thing then it's another thing yeah okay well hey bird i think you guys are going to be there for a couple of weeks we might come back next week too that would be awesome, yeah. I, I think that would be great. Okay. So. Well, thank us, you. Keep us updated. Will do. Thanks, okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Is there a phone call? Hello? Oh, what the? Hello? Hello. Hey, uh, this is uh, your daily hour with me? Yeah, it's yeah. the program. Yeah, hi. 
Hi, this is this is Mary Lee Coday, and um, I'm the one that's been bugging you about the People's Movement Assembly for the October 29th. Yes, I've been. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the uh, today tonight, and we can't make that meeting though. Okay, can't do tonight. Yeah, I'm. I'm me and me and Freddie are both working. So, uh, okay. yeah, but you, you guys can just find us a spot, but we, we're pretty flexible. So, do you think you want to be in the middle of things or off in a quiet place? The, the middle of things. You don't care? Uh, I said the, I said the middle. The, the middle of things. The, the middle of things. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah, right that's kind of what I was thinking. Okay. All right, so I'll keep that in mind when we're walking around tonight. Okay. And we, yeah, All right, thanks. Oh. Uh, uh, what, I want to, can I talk to you? We're, we're on the show still. Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah. This is why I have to email. I have a hard time understanding on the phone. Oh, yeah. Can you tell us what's happening on Friday? Oh, what's happening on Friday? Yeah, what, what is this event that we're going to? I don't oh, the one on the 29th? Yes. Yeah, could you talk a little bit more about it? Okay, um, yes, it, Olympia Movement for Justice and Peace, OMJP, they uh, put on one of these, uh, oh, in 2010, and it's a People's Movement Assembly, and um, it's just a lot of organizations getting together and talking about um, just a lot of issues and uh, different workshops and just connecting, and then there's people tabling and uh, we, we have um, a lot of different presentations. So um, I can e email you some more information on that. Would that help? Okay. Yes. And what, what, time, okay. what time are we gonna be there? Or, uh... On the 29th? Yes. Well, we're uh, basically uh, setting up and uh, between, I think uh, there's a breakfast and set up at 8.15 to 9.00. And then 9 o'clock is when uh, the panel starts. Uh, there's three different sessions. So I have a schedule, and I'll, I'll go ahead and send that to you. What? Great. What, what, are we on the schedule? Like the, is, is the program on the schedule? It's not, uh, mostly because I added it kind of late. Okay. Um, I was just thinking that um, it would be opportunity to Oh boy, for you to talk with quite a variety of folks. I mean, we'll certainly let you let them know you're there. Uh, what, what time? What time do you think we should shoot? Well, are you are you you know you you can you can. It's your call on that. I mean, if you could be shooting from nine until oh, you know, three fifty, I think is when that goes. All right. Okay. We, we only go for an hour, so I think I'll probably be there around one or two. Oh, okay. So you're just going to be there at one? Yeah, because uh, the oh. show only goes for one hour, and then I just, uh, it's not like, I don't edit the show or do anything like that, so we just record for the hour okay. straight, so whatever happens in the hour is what makes it to the thing. So I think I'll get there, and maybe I'll try to get the breakfast, too, but just for breakfast. Okay. That sounds good. I'll okay. See so we'll see you on Saturday. I guess I'll just go, I'll just show up, or maybe we'll try to contact you uh, in the next couple weeks, too, or two weeks. Okay, yep, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if anything else comes up then. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Wow, that was lucky she got on the show. Yeah, wow, good timing. So it looks like Robert Camps of Carica Oli is going to be live this Friday on October 21st. That's too late. Robert, you have to send us a message last week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too late already happened wait no it didn't wait what's today today is the 19th oh wait that's happening oh but people but people aren't gonna see this yeah we're we're a week ahead of time right now tonight is the new moon whatever i don't know i'm not sure what that means does that mean it's a full moon no moon there's no moon new moon is no moon whoa wait wait did go back to the wasn't there a message from cedar yeah this one was from yesterday though Hey, this is Peter. Just trying to find Freddy. <laughs> um, hope you're having a good show. Bye. Halfway through. Welcome to Thursday, everybody. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday, yeah. At, at, at uh, 
Uh, halfway through the program, it's midnight. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So now we're uh, just starting off Thursday, so good morning. Morning. Uh, welcome to your new day. Do we, here on the program, we, we uh, kick off the day and say goodbye to the old day. So we bridge that time. So right now it's happening. Um, Who's that? Who are those other voicemails from? We have two more voicemails. No, 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 there's ones down below. These ones are from yesterday. Where are they from? One was from that guy, the guy that we called back already. And one from Michigan, too. Hey, that's an awesome couch. I just want to know where you get the couch. Thanks. Bye. I want to hear them. He wants to know where we got the couch. Is this the same guy? He wants to know where we got the couch. I'll call him. He'll call back and tell you. And there's another one from him, too, right? Is that the same guy? Uh, yeah, right that, that one, the, no, the one right underneath the Mr. Ginsu one. Hello? Yeah, what the fuck is going on? I just heard some chick out on I-5 has got a deer in her car. You don't imagine anything on how a deer got in her car. <laughs> Later. Scott. Your call has been to an automatic voice message yeah, system. Three, six. Yeah. Scott Doolin, he's a, he's a guy. He's on the show sometimes. Let's see what he said. Oh, that's long. Hey, program. This is your program viewer. And we were just watching the program. And we thought it was a good program, so we figured we'd call in. Hey, hey, nah. Give you a heads up. I haven't been in the program for a little while now. Maybe someday I should get back on the program because I'm leaving Olympia too. So I should probably go on the program before I leave Olympia. Maybe say goodbye to Olympia via the program. Um, I'd like to know what the program for the next program is. And I hope you can get up. I'm sorry for the jokes that are being propagated around me. I have no control over them. They're just the people that I'm with. I promise you that I would never, ever put a joke on the program because there are no jokes allowed on the program. That is one of the rules I didn't explain to you guys before. No jokes. It's all sincerity. There's no irony. There's no jokes. None of that. All sincerity. And this is true sincerity. This isn't false sincerity. If you watch Rick, Rick understands the limits and he understands consciousness and he understands the extent of which sincerity needs to go in order to create a fine public access television show yeah so thank you program we're really glad you exist we love you we'll be back soon goodbye thanks scott all right let's call him back oh that was oh, a, that was a really care. great message yeah, okay, go I'll, go, I'll let him in. All right. here it comes that door is crazy you gotta Yank on it. Oh, we gotta, you gotta like turn it real hard, and then, yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, doors a little hard to operate. Okay. What's happening here? I'm trying to call Scott, but something on the computer messed up. We're gonna go back here. Freddy's here. He's got the coffee. Yay! Yay! Oh, we can make cafe. Look at this. It's McDonald's coffee. All right. Um, yeah, we're gonna try to get back to the message. Peter! It's Peter and Freddie, they came here and they have, did you guys win anything in, in Monopoly? Whoa, you want a quarter pounder? That's the best thing to win. We're just about to call Scott Doolin back. Ah. I want a quarter pounder with cheese. <laughs> yeah, where's the, where's the phone? Wait, huh? Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Hello? Oh. I haven't had fries in forever. Hello? Hello? Hello, TV. Scott! Scott! Hello? How you doing? Whoa. <laughs> what? How you doing? Who's yeah, hi. Guest? How's it going? Who's the guest? Well, uh, my name is Brianna. My name is Cedar. Hello. Oh, and Freddy's here too. Yeah, yeah. We're all you here. You guys got the uh, our little voicemail. We got the message, and thanks for uh. That's a great voicemail. Compliments, yeah. Yeah, I uh, missed you guys. How was the comedy last night, Kenny or Rick? Yeah, well, I think it was um 
<laughs> it was mostly pretty bad, except for, uh, except for I think Rafferty's pretty good, and you know some of the people had some hit jokes. And yeah. Overall, I think I people know. people weren't very uh, aggressive with their comedy, which is sometimes yeah. you know they they're just kind of everybody seems kind of nervous, but they should be more aggressive. I think aggressive, so like antagonistic to the crowd, or just, or just not as shim timid. No, they're timid. They're too timid. I don't know about antagonism necessarily. That yeah. might be boring, but at least a little bit of confidence. Yeah, confidence. Yeah, that's, that's what I, want I to think they it. should tell jokes about sweaters, personally. Yeah. I, yeah, I think that's, it looks like a fun thing to do, though. I mean, I do this, I talk enough on the show, but I don't tell any jokes, so maybe I could do, if I did stand-up comedy, it would be all jokes, so I would do all the jokes in my mind on, the, on the, if I did a stand-up comedy thing. Get the jokes out there, and then bring bring the real world to the show. Yeah. I think I think I might try try out try out stand up comedy. What do you guys want to try out stand up comedy? Ever ever wanted to try that? Um, me no. Yeah. I haven't ever wanted to do that. I actually don't no. like stand up. Oh, yeah. I love stand up. We had comedy night at our house before. I'd rather film a comedy night than be on it. I oh think yeah, I'd rather not do comedy. Hey, or see it. Scott, when are you leaving town? Um, December. In December? Okay, so you have all of November. Do you wanna do you wanna come here on, in November? Sure. How about on Put November? me on a weekend. On a weekend? Yeah. Okay, how about on a, on Saturday? Uh, November fifth. Alright. Check. Yes? You know what time? Uh how about two o'clock? Sounds good. Two o'clock Saturday, fifth on the TV. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, anything exciting happened to you? You see anything on the streets or? Um, there's a chef gallery at the Student Art Gallery at Evergreen that everyone should check out. A Millions chef? of chefs have been drawn. Yeah. It's, food? It's a... Is there food there? No, there's no food. The chef is a drawing oh. of a chef. And there's millions of chefs, and everyone draws chefs in the community project. Well, it could be a community project, but... What does a chef are... look like, though? A chef can be anybody, right? Well, if you go to... to, um... Chef... What was it? Drawchef... Drawchef.tumblr.com Drawchef.tumblr.com Then you'll be able to see the original chef and base your chef off the original chef. And then you'll see lots and lots of examples of chef also. Oh. Chef. So yeah. Drawchef.tumblr.com Is it An chef? exciting movement. Chef um, like a cooking... Up a cooking so, guy? You, a person who cooks? Well. A person who cooks? Guy, is that what the chef is? Yeah, or? okay. I'm gonna go. Oh, okay. We'll see you on the 5th. Hello, bye program. Bye-bye. Hey. All right. I've got production hey. news. Yes? I've got two points, two production news. Um, so... First off, we maybe you have talked about this a little bit before, but um, this upcoming Sunday, or no, I guess it was last Sunday. Last Sunday. Last yeah. Sunday. Uh, viewers might already know this, but it's it it's missing. Oh, it is missing. It's gone. It's gone. I think I picked over it. No, you definitely did. I I have the Monday tape, and on the Monday tape, it's got Sean being like, "I'm gonna clean up the studio," as it's like the the intro, oh, and, then and, then it, and it's like the intro it. starts, and then all of a sudden it starts going like. <laughs> And then like oh. Dan appears. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, so I lost an episode, but yeah, that's okay. We'll have to do. Uh, yeah, what should we do? That's the that's a that's the the second not the second part, but the point B of that uh, production news. What should we do on Sunday instead of having an episode play? Should we do an old Sunday? Should we try to cut together all of Sean's uh, uh, performances? on the show into one like let's call Sean we'll ask him we'll tell, right. him, we'll tell him about it in the meantime I can bring up the other uh, yeah go ahead and call him but the other thing that's happening um, and this is October 19th uh, in real time when we're filming it um, and October 20th was the very first video day oh wow the very first video hour so um, it, in less than 24 hours at 2 a.m. on the 20th uh, Episode 32. Oh, oh. commercial break. <laughs> Immersed in the internet, <laughs> our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. 
we act like it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize mm. it becomes harder and harder. I want to make a commercial. I don't know what for. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh. Freddy, who made this? I haven't seen this before. Who made this? Robert. YDHWM. That's good. Wow. That's crazy. Robert's a hit maker. That's pretty catchy. That's good. Thanks, Robert. That's catchy. That's a Aviva's on that track, too. Aviva's? Yep. What'd she do? She said YDHWM. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Um, yeah, for all you, all you yeah what I was saying was that, uh, so, October 20th, first video hour, 2010. So that means it's one entire year of video episodes now. We've done a bunch of year celebrations almost, but the thing that's cool about this particular uh, celebration is that at 2 a.m. Um, on the day that it was aired, the episode from 2010 will be playing. So... Um, yeah, episode 32 is gonna, will, will have aired on 2 a.m. on the 20th, and we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna keep on doing that. I talked to Ryan about the first one for sure, Yeah. and I've gotten, like, a whole bunch of the other ones prepared, but we are missing a couple episodes, like episode 33, I don't have that, mm -hmm. I'm not sure where that is, but we have that on audio, and then episodes, uh, 41 and 45, or something like that, there's like, there's three missing in the first, like, two weeks. Yeah, in the beginning it was, we weren't sure how how real the program was going to be. Yeah. And we didn't really put that much effort into keeping it. Or so even, yeah, keeping, or uh -huh. the, the, the part that's difficult, I've been going through a lot of old episodes, um, and the, the most difficult part is that there was no system of, like, dating the episodes on the tape. And yeah. so it, it was just like... This was Wednesday, or like nothing at all. Yeah. And so, <laughs> what day is this? And, and so I've been trying to figure it out, and I've been doing some detective work, and I, I got uh, episodes 37 through 40 figured out, and they're all in order. And it was right. cool because if you watch the episode, and you know about the show and stuff, you can kind of like figure it out chronologically, which is pretty fun. Uh, well, yeah. Like the history of the show. Yeah. What, what is it going to be like retrospective or? or uh, anthology, I Antho thought. I'm calling it anthology. Is anthology good? I think that sounds good. Retrospective is good too, but either way. Uh, yeah. So, but, but you, didn't, you, you didn't name it like this. Is there an intro or anything, or is this just gonna go straight on there? Uh, I figured it would just go straight on there. I guess oh, we could do good. we could do anthology, but I mean, you I think that, make a cute little that would take a lot of effort actually. To just, I mean, to stick a stick yeah. a title in the beginning of it, that would take a lot of effort. Because half of them are already, you know, files on my hard drive that are ready for playback. I've been having to, I have been on the ones that I have to print out. I've been changing the the information that's wrong so yeah. it doesn't go to blip anymore it goes to you know the website oh good but yeah so check that out viewers if you're staying up all night tonight maybe see if that uh what is this day the 19th, 19th. oh wait so, is it gonna be on tonight or tomorrow Tomo tomorrow morning tomorrow morning no so tonight. so if you're you're watching it on the 20th this on the 26th viewers on tv so check out if you stay up really late, stay up till 2 a.m. See if the episode from the 26th is on at 2 a.m. Because it might be. It's probably. The reason we're doing this is because what you can do is watch this show, and then after this show, you can you have another hour of TV, and then you can watch Carson Daly. Carson Daly starts at 1:30 a.m. So you can watch all Carson Daly, and then after Carson Daly is over, it goes to infomercials on TV at 2 a.m. There's nothing to watch on TV, and sometimes I'm watching TV that late, and at 2 a.m. When Carson Daly is over, I'm like, oh man, now I gotta watch these infomercials. And I end up sitting there and watching, just you know, infomercials about, <laughs> like, you know, like erectile dysfunction or <laughs> whatever. Buy Everything. these jewels. Yeah, jewels. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Back to saver. Products. Yeah. And I, I had never bought anything from TV, and I don't know why I watch these commercials. And so we're gonna instead of having watched commercials, we can watch the program from last year. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I've been noticing watching the old episodes that it, it seems like they... Oh, good. We should call Sean. Go ahead, call Sean. We have one more message, actually. Too. Oh, okay. Yeah. What time is it, by the way? Uh, hey, Kenny. It's Logan. Um, I'm just calling to, oh, like, to, go to work, right? daily yeah. hour with you on Saturday. Um, so you can give me a call back at 360. Oh, should we call Sean? You want to call Sean? Um, yeah. Call let's just see what here. he thinks we should do, and then I can actually take care of it when I go to work. Who is that person? 
Oh, that was Logan. He said he wants to be here on Saturday. We should try to get guests for Thursday shows. Thursday is hard. Thursday? Who's on Thursday? Tomorrow. Maggie? Maggie. Oh, cool. The last time Maggie was scheduled for Thursday, she didn't show up. <laughs> so we'll call her after this, too. Have some calls to make. We got about 14 minutes left on the show. Sean's at work, probably. Oh, yeah. Well, what about we got to call Charlie, too? Tell him. Over his episode. I don't know if I have his phone number. Oh, no. Oh, Charlie. Oh, no. Charlie's episode? Yep. Bummer. It's gone. Oh. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, it's sad. It's but we got to move on. Yep. Moving it's on. already happened. Please leave your message at 4, though. I'm probably going to play the, the... I mean, it, depending on what we choose, I might play the beginning that is Sean yeah. and then put a message I don't know some we'll people they, they always they say we, you say you do this every day you make a mistake then what happens and we, hey Sean uh, we taped over your tape on Sunday by accident here at least I, I did it no, I'm, I said we but it was just me uh, yeah what do you want to do about that we'll have to figure something out call us back alright thanks bye bye yeah usually it's my fault That's so it's refreshing yeah I, t <laughs> I took over it Spread the blame around. Yeah, we is fine. You everybody, can just say we. Everybody gets a share. It was actually part of the cleaning. I think part of the cleaning process is why it got picked over. Yeah. yeah. What the? Is that Logan? Logan's yeah, not showing up? Um. Well, anyway, you can use the, you can reuse this tape now. Anyway, that's why I brought it. So, blank. Oh, it's all blank. All right. Yeah, blank tape. I'll just take this off here. I, should, I guess I should probably go to work. I, I feel like this keeps happening. How did... Uh, only have seven minutes, yeah. How did uh, the whole pres er, Occupy thing go? Did you get some good talkers? Do you know a bit more about the Occupation now? You know, I, I still think I have about the same amount of information as I did before. Uh -huh. Like... Still nobody, don't nobody really told me anything new, I guess. Like, I kind of... Do you want... You are you sleeping from here? Ow, I just oh, burned. Okay, he's just basing uh, that. They want it. money. I'm not sleeping. They want money? I'm just spilled coffee. I'm Everybody wants money. Hello? Oh, the fight was against oh. money. No, they, no, they, want, they want money because they want money from because they don't want yeah. to people have all the money. Right, I mean, when you have yeah. finished recording, you but. may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Maggie, it's the program. You're scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, call us back. Hopefully you make it. It's at one o'clock. Hopefully you'll make it on Thursday. Okay, bye bye. I mean, they they want other stuff. They want equality, but it seems like I mean they just want money from poor people, and then poor people don't have any money, and they want them to have it instead of uh, rich people. Yeah, that sounds good. One lady wants to live in a van. She or wants bus. to live in a bus, and then the, the, the uh, but they won't let. They won't let her, but the government, she says the government won't let her or something, but she'd be really mad if we spoke for her, because that's happened yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she doesn't. Don't, don't put words into her mouth. Yeah. Yeah, okay. She does not like them. If she was driving her on a little scooter, uh, it didn't look like a medical scooter either. I don't know if she could. She, had, she said she had a lung problem. I don't know if her lung problem affected her, her, her walking ability. I bet I bet so, though, you know. I think she, she can't breathe. It's hard to walk. She mean. She uh, was <laughs> if you watched the program yesterday, that lady was not, I mean, sometimes people help the cause, but... Mean people are not gonna help any cause. Uh oh. Uh, is this Sean? It's uh oh, it was Maggie. Oh. I'm. I probably should go to work. You gotta though. go. I you got, got five minutes. minutes. Yeah, you gotta go. You got five minutes to get across town. Bye, See you Freddy. later. See you tonight. Oh yeah, where's the base? We need. I said that phone base is gone. Huh? Have a good day at work. Well, did you make it was calling us back, and so we went back and forth, and uh, now it's uh. I don't know what's happening with that. Front tag. That's what this is. Yeah. Well. Can we call um, Cameron on his work phone? Yes. Where does he work? Evergreen. In the admissions uh, office. Oh, yeah. I have his work number. I saw Cameron it's in Portland. That one. You did? What was he doing yeah, there? Yeah, he was with his family at Zoo Pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. He told me so about cool. that. That was so... He's like... He's like, oh my gosh, it's Cedar. And then like yeah. your parents like met each other. Yeah, it was, it was cool. <laughs> Meet the parents. It was pretty funny. It <laughs> seemed nice. It was good to see him there. I always like seeing Cameron. We're yeah. calling him. It's going now. Yeah. Cool. You guys should invite Cameron over to your house sometime. Yeah, he's just, he works all the time. 
Mm. And I've been busy a little bit. Yeah. We should pick up. We should be at work right now. We need admission. Oh, someone's knocking. Should I get that? Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's pretty. Hi, you've reached Cameron Hostetter with the Evergreen State College Office of Admission. <gasps> if you'd like to leave your name and number. Never heard this message. We get back to you. Oh. I will return your call. Thank you. Bye. Cameron! It's the program. I need I need some admission. I need some help with getting admitted to Evergreen. We need help. <laughs> call <us> back. Three three zero five three six three eight five two. Oh, let's call McDonald's. He just got pranked. <laughs> well, we've had such a busy day uh, because uh, an hour. It's been good. We've been making all the calls. Mr. Ginsey left with the messages. It helps the show go along. Yeah. That's Did you call him back? Yeah, he didn't answer though. But uh, too bad. Maybe because we uh, had a break from the phone so from yesterday. That's why we had extra phone time too. But here, I haven't called. I didn't get to call any McDonald's today. I want to call now. Where state you want to call? Florida. All right. We're gonna call Florida. Uh, did you go back to the Occupy thing, Cedar, after after the show? Uh, no. Oh. Angie went back there today, though. Might stop by and say hi or something. I feel like it. Is she setting up a tent there? She she has a tent. She spent the night there last or the night before last night. Oh. And I guess she's gonna go get a sleeping bag. It's for the night again tonight. Cool. Cause it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Right here. Although I guess I sleep outside too, anyways. <laughs> yeah, come on, Cedar. You're always sleeping out in a tent. I have a warm sleeping bag. I think my truck gets a little warm too. Because it's like such a small space. Wait, what did you do in the summer? Did it get like super hot in the morning and stuff in that truck? Yeah, I just woke up early. Oh. I've got windows. Open my windows. You just like wake up and be like, oh, it's too hot. Nah, I wake up and be like, oh, this feels so good. It's so warm. <laughs> I love being warm. Can I help you? Hello, McDonald's? Hello, McDonald's. How can I help you? Hi. Do you guys have the pumpkin pies? Yes, we do. Oh, you do? Hey, that's great. How many of those do you think you have? I'm sorry? How, how long do you think those are going to last? Um, I'm pretty sure until the holidays is over. Like like through December? Perhaps. Well, what if I, if I, so do I, if I come in December, they're going to be there? Because I'm not sure if I'm going to make it in November. It's not a pumpkin. Is it a pumpkin pie shake? Mm, no, actual pumpkin pies. Do they have pumpkin uh, pie shakes? They, they have both, yeah. <gasps> I want a shake. Fuck. The pumpkin pie shakes, they, they, don't, they don't call it pumpkin Damn pie, it. though. <laughs> they call it uh, autumn. Have you had their uh, strawberry lemonade thing? Yeah, I had that like right when it came out. Is it good? It was okay. It, it, it ended up like, you know, like... Uh, Slush puppies or something? What are those things called? Like, uh, what? Like slushy? Slushies? But you know, like the dog, the brand of slushy that has the dog on it. No. I haven't eaten that many slushies. Is it too icy or something? Yeah, it's like too much ice, and then like the syrup, you like the, the syrup <laughs> leaks out, and you can drink the syrup, and then it ends up getting icy. Oh. Uh, so I have no idea. I, I can really, I can, I, can, I think I understand that. I think it's called slush puppies. Mm. It's like when you're, it's like ice, yeah, it's like ice and syrup and you kind of pour the syrup on it, so when the syrup is liquid, then it kind of gets to the bottom. And yeah. It kind of looks like ice and then syrup, it's just like cold syrup, but it doesn't mix too well. Mm. That's too bad. It's like the brand, you guys don't remember the brand of, of slushies that have the dog? I don't know if they still have them around. I don't. It was like, know. it was like a little, the, like the, the wrinkly dog and he was like had a, a, a hat, a funny hat, and he was an like, uh, anthrop anthropomorphic dog and he had this thing. <laughs> It's like vaguely, vaguely <laughs> familiar, maybe, but I don't know. I think it was, I don't know if it was Slush Puppies, because that sounds like Hush Puppies are like little tater tots or something, right? You know those? Hush Puppies? Hush, hush Puppies are shoes. Really? I think so. Huh. What are those tater tots? I think those are just tater tots. <laughs> 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 hush Puppies. <laughs> like, hush Puppies is like, they, they sell them at like Skippers, right? I, I haven't been to a Skippers since I was like eight. Either. Yeah, little, little things. There's still a lot of Skippers out there in Lacey. Skippers I sucks. I saw that Skippers recently. I don't know how they've been around. I don't it seems know like, why. It seems like they would have... Yeah, Who like, goes to Skippers? Out. I've never, like, 
wanted to go to Skipper's. Like, and it just like growing up in Washington, I always went to Ivers. I there's no Ivers around here. I always went to Skipper's. That's the only one in town. That's like the only. Is it like seafood or something? Well, they yeah. opened the Long John yeah, Silver's yeah. in Lacey too, but before that Long John Silver's, that Skipper's is the only, like, fish? <laughs> I mean, that's the only fish place that I ever went to when I was a little kid. Man, we live, like, huh. right on the sound. Do you think there'd be tons? Yeah, but I guess yeah, it's the only, it's like, low-end fish place. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah there needs to be, be like a low-end. like a cheap end. fish place here, a seafood place, yeah. like, cheap and good. Ben Morris has that um, oh, fish and, chip, fish and yeah. chips plate yeah, if you get a beer. Good? It's good. I don't, they don't give you, like, quite enough. It's like they give uh, you, like... Almost enough to be full. Uh, that's horrible. Yeah. I like being full. <laughs> Me too. Other than that, yeah, I just have to go to like Anthony's, and that's expensive. It's oh so yeah. That one by the grocery store and bridges and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's out there. It's very expensive. It's high end though. You been? I've been there for um. I don't know. People come out of town or something. Yeah. I bet mean, parents would like go. to go there. Well, I think I went. I went there for like prom or yeah. something. <laughs> oh Classy. wow. Yeah. Well, that's uh, we got about three minutes on the show. And three get down minutes. To it, now the show. Thanks, Brianna. Thanks for coming here. Yeah. Yeah. I want to come on. Yes. Yeah. Peter, how long are you gonna uh, be here until you go back to work? Uh, I don't have a job anymore, so who knows? Oh, great. Well, you guys want to come back in November? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be here in November. I want to come. Where Where might you go? Uh, anywhere. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> I was told to ask you by Brian Eshan if you're still moving to Oakland or, or San Francisco. I don't know. Depends on where I get a job. Yeah. Cedar goes by the wind. So you want to come wow. here? Uh, Blows me. You want to come here on, on uh, let's see, how about Tuesday the 8th? Well, funny you should mention Tuesday the 8th of November. Yes. That's my birthday. Oh, it is? Yeah. Ah! Wow, so I guess I'll, so this is your real birthday. We'll call you on yeah, uh, real birthday. We'll call you a week early too to okay. uh, to remind you. But uh do you wanna come here on Cedar's birthday, Rana? Okay. <laughs> um Or do you wanna uh, come later in the month? Because that's only gonna be in two weeks. Or maybe it's just a text. Do you want a longer break? I'm trying to uh, think of Caitlin's when. calling me, I gotta answer this. Okay, you can answer. I'm trying to think of when it would be a good time to come on. Um Okay. Yeah, let's say the eighth for now. Mm -hmm. yeah. cool. All right. So it's gonna be Peter's birthday on election day. Only women left. Oh, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, he's on the phone. Triple phone call. Oh, I had a really long story. I forgot to tell it though. So that's the end of the show, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Brianna. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Freddie. Uh, Mr. Ginsu. Yeah, Mr. Ginsu, call back, but not tomorrow. What time are you going to do it tomorrow? You should tell him to call in then. Yeah, call in at 1 o'clock, Mr. Ginsu. You're not going to be able to see this always. Oh, oh, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I always forget. It's so dumb. <laughs> We're a week in the future. We have like a minute left, so I'll just walk back and get it. Less than that. But really seconds. only 30 uh, seconds or 17 or something. Yeah, there's 30 seconds left in the program. I'll the outro. Okay, see you in like 15 minutes. All right, back. Hey, what's, your, what's it like to have your birthday on election day? Is that a thing? Uh, it is a small thing, but it's never really been a, a big thing. I don't know. Wait, the 8th is election day? Yeah, or oh. the 9th or something. Oh, no, it's like the 11th. Or maybe that. Or is the 11th Veterans Day? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. It's in it is around election time, though. I usually get upstage. Has anybody Always. sent a letter before? Nope. Somebody huh. sent a letter. I'll send no a letter. No one sent a letter? Yeah, well, I don't, if they have, I don't know how to get it. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah, we're here, but <laughs> there's no mailbox. <laughs> there isn't? I mean, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Maybe there's just a box and you have a ton Maybe of Maybe they just slip it all yeah, 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 Look at it. Thanks, TCTV. Thanks, Hell yeah, 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 dog. I love Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. So good. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye.